January, uh, but nevertheless it is the beginning of a new calendar year. It's interesting to note that the month of January is named after the Roman god called Janus. Janus is a god of new gates, new possibilities, new openings, new opportunities. And what a wonderful metaphor to start the new year. The image of uh, Lord Janus is very interesting in the sense that it signifies, it has two faces. One face, the face with the experience looking towards the past and the other one looking towards the future. Isn't that a wonderful message that the beginning of a new calendar year is an opportunity for all of us to pause and reflect? Because life can be like a treadmill at times and we're running so fast and just like in the gym, you know, where I hardly go, where I should be going more often, um, when you're on the treadmill in the gym, you feel like you put in a lot of efforts and you're really not getting anywhere. And life can be something very similar. When we put in a lot of efforts, you blink your eyes and a whole year has gone by and then you realize, hey, what have I actually achieved during this year? And I think the beginning of a new year is a good time for every single one of us to pause, take a deep breath and spend some time with yourself asking some powerful questions. It's time to reflect. A few powerful questions that I'd like to share with you today. Number one is, where am I today? Is this a good place to be? Number two, how did I get here? What are the things that I've been doing right? What have I done right so far that has brought me here today? And if the answer to question number one, which is where am I today? If the answer is, it's a good place to be in, I'm quite happy and satisfied and proud of where I am, it's time to pat yourself on the back and acknowledge your efforts. You've got to acknowledge your efforts. So question number one, where am I today? Question number two, how did I get here? What are the good things? What are the strengths? What are the things that I'm doing right so far that have brought me here today? Question number three, very powerful. Where would I like to go in the future? Where would I like to go? Because if we don't know the answer to this question, and I'd like to quote uh, the ancient philosopher Seneca here, he said, if you don't know which boat you are sailing to, no wind is failure before you. So we must know which is the boat that we want to get to. So question number three is, where would I like to go in the future? And question number four, the most powerful question is, how do I plan to get there? How do I plan to get there? What do I, what do I need to do starting today in order to get to my new destinations? So the beginning of a new year, with this wonderful month of January, is the time to pause, reflect, think, strategize and then take ownership create a plan take ownership i feel nothing can happen unless individuals start taking ownership as long as you diffuse the responsibility for creating a better life or better health or better relationships or better skills unless that responsibility is out there for your environment to change nothing's going to happen it's only when individuals step forward and commit complete full acceptance of a new goal, of a new skill, of a new attitude or behavior. It's only when we fully completely take ownership that is when we are able to deliver results. And we human beings, we have a remarkable ability. When we commit to something, we have an amazing ability to deliver results. The challenge is most people that I meet are putting in half-hearted efforts into life and then expecting full results. Now that's not a good deal. If you want good results from any area of your life, you must be willing to give your 100%. Now here's the challenge. Most people aren't able to make that deal. They say, show me what the results will look like, then I'll put in the efforts. No, 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 no. Well, it works in the opposite way. You put in the efforts, you put your 100% to it, there is no certainty, there is no guarantee whether you'll get the results or not. But nothing can happen until you are able to deal with this uncertainty. And this uncertainty is, can I commit today, giving my very best to life, without expecting certain results? If you can live your life like that, not in denial, not in postponing, making the best of every single moment right now, and using all resources that are available to you within this moment, magic can begin to happen. So I wish you all a wonderful year ahead. May 2013 be a fantastic year for you. May it be your best year ever.
I have an affirmation that I like to share with you, which I use very often. The best is yet to come. I sincerely believe it for me. The best is yet to come for me. And I hope and pray that the best for you also lies in the times ahead. God bless you. Have a great day.